Are you tired of scrolling through the endless list of aircraft that you have in Microsoft Flight Simulator and would really enjoy having the favorite aircraft of your choices up towards the top so you don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll? Stick around, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Make sure if you guys can that you join us at Flight Sim Expo 2023. That's right, Overkill Simulations is going to be present this year, guys, at the Lone Star Museum in Houston, Texas. If you guys are interested in joining us there, be sure to check down the description below. There is a coupon code that can save you guys a bit of money uh, using my personal reference uh, to get you there. Again, that'll save you a bit of cash in your Flight Sim Expo 2023 experience. This is gonna be June 23rd through the 25th of 2023. Uh, again, in Houston, Texas, at the Lone Star Flight Museum. I went a few years ago in Las Vegas, and they are an absolute great time. There's some very, very informative and educational seminars to help better your flight simming experience, as well as a ton of developers of both hardware and software that you guys actually get to try out, essentially a try-before-you-buy experience, as well as talking with the developers themselves and uh, finding out what the products are all about. So again, guys, that's gonna be Flight Sim Expo 2023 in Houston, Texas. I hope to see you guys all there. Don't forget to use my coupon code that you can find down in the description below. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier two and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come along down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below and thank you to all of my current subscribers. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started here. First off, this is an incredibly helpful tool, especially if you're in virtual reality. Uh, if you're like me, you have tons of aircraft with inside the sim, even the default list is pretty darn long, and it can be really annoying trying to search for a particular plane or trying to scroll through or trying to go through all the different windows. So what this application allows you to do is actually change the layout of the aircraft so that your favorite aircraft and the ones you want up top are already there. Makes it very, very simple to select your plane. So we're gonna walk through installation and we're going to go through the process of actually configuring it. Now, there's been a lot of updates to the application since I first attempted it. So essentially we're gonna be looking at this from a first time user standpoint. So let's go ahead and get started. Obviously the first thing to do is to download the product, All right? So you'd come down here obviously on flightsim.2. And again, a link to this will be down in the description, download it, and then let's get started with the rest. All right, so assuming that you have downloaded everything, we're obviously going to extract this. I'm gonna extract it here. Place it into a directory of your choosing. This is just the uh, executable. So what I'm going to do, oops, I didn't mean to do that, is I'm going to rename it. I like to take the flightsim.2 identifier off. Just have that. I'm gonna take this, put it into a specific location. Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, no, actually, excuse me. I want it in applications. I'm gonna paste it in here. We're gonna open it up and we're going to run it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is locate our packages directory. Now you can either do a start scan here, um, but first we need to find, sorry, do not hit the start scan. We need to find our directory. Sorry, just saw something go past my window that caught my attention. Ooh, shiny. Uh, let's go to games, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to find my packages folder. I'm gonna hit copy. Come up here, paste, start scan. All right, and here's all of our aircraft. So let's start going through some of these things and find the planes that I prefer to have up front. Let's see here, do, 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 do. And you just simply add and remove the favorites here. So let's see here, definitely, the G36 one, but you know what? I don't think that's the right one yet. So hold on. Gosh, you don't realize how many you have until you really get going with it, do you? So I'm gonna do that. Favorite. TBM 930 overkill. Favorite. Actually, do I have to do that one? I can't remember. That's what it is. I'm sorry. 
I just realized that I was selecting the livery. So you want to make sure that you have the one that has the, um, yeah, developer. There we go. You can see it turns green when you've got it done. So longitude. There's that. The 172, this one's actually pretty cool. We'll be doing a video on that one. The flying side 206. I really do enjoy that, but let's keep going here for a second. Obviously our fly-by-wire A320, that's definitely one of my favorites. The Technam 206, that's a cool plane. I like that one. Got friends aircraft. There's a bunch of them here. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. I like the Astro. I really do have fun with that one. The GBR3 is one of my favorites. The Vertigo is cool when you want to get in something and puke, especially in VR. The Cohen Sim 206, that one's easy if you just want to jump in and fly. The H145s are obviously awesome as well, but we're going to keep scrolling for a minute. There we go. I like all of the Just Flight turbos or uh, arrows, not turbos. Same thing with the JP Logistics 152, fantastic aircraft. Although I prefer the nose wheels. The 737-900. Oh, oh, I'm not looking at the right one. There we go. 737-800. The Salty 747. I really do like that one. That's a good one. Okay. And there's a bunch more, but you guys catch the gist. And that is literally the only thing that we have to do. And close that. And let's launch the sim. All right. So now we're in the simulator. And let's go to our world map. Let's go to our aircraft selection. Let's go to the top. And there are our aircraft that we selected. DBM. And you guys can do this for the entire thing if you want in any particular order. The Astro one, I believe, it's gonna go by uh, your, um, by the actual aircraft title name. Um, so just keep that in mind. Now, the other cool thing, I don't know if you guys caught it, but everything that's marked as a favorite, you can see has an asterisk next to it where the rest of the aircraft, let's come down here, do not. So very simple tool, but very efficient and very, very handy. And to remove any of them from a favorite, you simply relaunch the application and hit the minus favorite, make it so it's no longer has a green bar on it, restart your simulator and you're good to go. So again, not a long video, not a whole lot of detail to this one, but I thought it was an extremely handy tool. Uh, even the developer states they're not going to put a ton of work into it. As this is something that will eventually make it to the simulator by default. But uh, for now, it is certainly an extremely welcome addition and definitely makes, uh, makes it easier to select your aircraft versus doing this over and over and over and over again so anyways guys great job to the developer really appreciate your efforts on this this is very very simple and yet a very very as i said welcome addition to the simulator uh, and will make things much much easier especially in virtual reality so you don't have to try to use the search window while in vr as always guys leave your comments and thoughts down below stay safe and healthy and i will see you guys in the next one